Welcome back. In this video, we will talk about the diagnosis and treatment of urticaria. Medical history can be very useful. We expect the patient to have wheels or hives within the last 24 hours. This can include angioedema. Our suspicion of urticaria increases if the patient changed their lifestyle or dietary habits or if they have taken new medication recently. We can also perform a skin prick test, radioallergosorbent test, or fluoroimmunoassay. Of course, with all medical conditions, you also need CBC, and specifically for urticaria, you also need C-reactive protein. Another test that we have is autologous serum skin test, which is basically taking a small amount of the serum from the patient and injecting this serum be directly beneath the skin. If this autologous process causes skin reaction and hives, this is pre-diagnostic of urticaria. We can also perform urticaria induction test, in which we try to induce urticaria, either by putting specific pressure on the skin in certain areas, or by putting ice cubes, or scratching the skin in certain areas. And if you really want to be thorough, a skin biopsy can be confirmative. Under the microscope, we will see edema in the dermis and dilated blood vessels with variable mixed inflammatory infiltrates. We will also see vasculitis and vessel wall damage. The first line in treating urticaria, of course, is avoiding the allergen. If you know something specific that causes these lesions to arise, simply avoid it. If that doesn't work, we try medications Specifically, we take second-generation antihistamine like loratadine or cetirizine. And if that still doesn't work, you can double the dose. And once these lesions subside, you can slowly taper the medication off and stop it completely. Previously, we used to use terfenidine and estimazole. But now that new research and evidence has come up, we know that these medications cause more harm than benefit. So they're no longer indicated. This is only true if you combine these medications with either ketoconazole or erythromycin. You should also avoid taking first-generation antihistamines as they cause more symptoms and they are less effective than the second generation in the treatment of urticaria. For cases of severe urticaria or urticaria refractory to normal treatment, we use prednisolone. Oral treatment for 4 to 5 days is very effective, but this should only be conserved for severe cases. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.